Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Subnautica. So, uh, I figured out something very interesting while I was out gathering, uh, what was I gathering? Silver ore, I think I, ooh, not rotten creep pines. I grabbed a couple silver, one, two, three, four silver. I found some lubricant, and I, well, I didn't find lubricant. What I figured out was that when you collect resources, it adds the, the recipes for what you could be building into the list here. I did not know that. I just figured that, you know, all the recipes available were already in there. But when you grab the resource, so what I could be doing, you know, I should be doing is, you know, whenever I find something new, grab it and it'll add recipes into my fabricator here, which I am super thrilled about. Now, do I have, oh, and I built myself a dive reel. That was easy. So I, I grabbed some of these creep vine clusters here and those were what were used to make lubricant. So now, now I have plenty of lube. And I think I needed lube for something. What did I need lube for? I know I was trying to make something. I can build a radiation suit and go visit the Aurora. Propulsion cannon, stasis rifle, which sounds cool. Welder, builder, flares, air bladder. So I got all that stuff. Converts torque into thrust underwater via... Ooh! Ooh! All I need to build this is a battery and some wires. I can build that shit. Wires. All right, now batteries. Uh, to make a battery, I need copper ore and some some of those freaking mushrooms, which I think I have sitting around here somewhere. At least I thought I did. You know what? I probably got rid of them because I knew they were easy to find. So why don't we just... I know they're up here in the shallower water. But it seemed that, that seemed like one of those like James Bondy things. You know, you, you little personal underwater per propellant device. Ah, here's some acid mushrooms. To make you move faster. And that would be pretty damn cool. Grab all those. Easy. Easy peasy. Alright, nice. Let's go back. Yeah, those little glowing clusters off in the distance, that was the creep vine clusters, and that's what I used to make the lube. So whenever I find something new, I should just collect it and it'll add recipes on. I did not know that an interesting mechanic. I mean, I I kind of understand it. I, I, mean, I do understand it. I just... It wasn't intuitive. I didn't feel it was very intuitive to me. So let's go electronics. Battery. Make another battery, maybe? No, I don't have any more copper ore on me. Uh, but what I can now... Deployable. Sea glide. Current generate. Use artificial gravity to generate convection current. Interesting. I'll begin... This needs titanium. Okay, so let's do the sea glide first. That looks cool. Now that should be in my inventory. Oh, oh, it's huge. Assigned a quick slot. So why don't we put it in? Uh, we're not building anything right now. I wish I had more quick slots. I wish I had ten. Let's give this bastard a try. I'm assuming he has power, energy. How does it work? Oh, I think I just go. I seem to be going quicker. Yeah, yeah, you can see it kind of like, um, like if I, if I, if I pan down, you can kind of see it, it's propeller going. Oh, and it's got a little headlight. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I like this. Now, how do I charge it, though? Well, for starters, let's go over here and grab some more of this lubricant. Ooh, what are those? Gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, I wanted that. I wanted that. Oh, I'm full. You know, let's, uh, let's get rid of this rotten shit. Well, first, let's see what these are. I wonder if they, they look shocking. Uh, 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 ow! Ow, 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 ow! Son of a bitch! Well, I tried to punch the electric eel thing, and that didn't fly. So maybe don't do that again. Well, why don't we... Where's that view? Mobile vehicle fabricates vehicles from raw material. Okay, so this needs titanium ingot and a power cell. So let's work on that stuff right now. So a power cell is a couple batteries. Batteries, that, so I need four of these mushrooms. I've got plenty, so I just need some copper ore, which I have plenty of. Titanium, gold. I know I have it around here somewhere. Copper, let's grab a bunch of that. Um, why don't we... That's nine slots that takes up. That thing's huge. 
Oh, I wish. Ah, oh God, I'm like running out of space for stuff. So we're gonna build a battery, and then a second battery, and then a power cell, silicone rubber. That's easy. I, think I'm, I know I got some of that built. Silicone rubber. So electronics, power cell. And I need a titanium ingot, which I believe is just ten titanium. I might already have one. Titanium, ingot, and lithium. I thought I already made one of those. Well, if I did, it would be over here. Um, I don't see it. I could have sworn I made one. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Mobile vehicle bay. Now, what do I do with that thing? Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. So let's go to number five. Oh, I forgot five, All right? Does it have to be outside? Or can I deploy it in here? Uh, should be in water to deploy vehicle bay. Okay. I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Also, oh, release bay. Okay, how about right here? Oh, it floats. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Let's uh, let's follow it up. I didn't. I didn't. I thought it would just hang out down there. I didn't expect it to float. Let's climb. Oh, what are those? What are these little dude? What are those little dudes? All right. All right. Use vehicle bay vehicles. Sea moth or a cyclops. Now, I'd love to build the Cyclops because it's for, you know, looks like it's industrial. It's for making stuff, but I don't have plasteel, enameled glass, uh, or, well, let's see what we need. Enameled glass uh, and plasteel. I don't think it's going to be in here. Not going to be in there. All right, so let's, uh, I mean, I guess I understand why it's on the surface. I'm finding that an interesting mechanic there. Well, we got that thing going, so we can build the sea moth pretty soon, it looks like. I'd rather have the Cyclops right now. So, uh, resources, basic. So that's lithium and titanium. I have, like, one lithium. That's glass and a stalker tooth. I have a couple of that. Interesting. Now, if I wanted to build... Seamoth, I needed a power cell and an advanced wiring kit. So, battery. We're gonna need to make some more batteries. Which means... What are we out of? Let's grab a bunch of stuff I know I'm gonna need. Like, uh, I need silicone rubber. Huh. Oh, there's another silver wire. I didn't realize I had that. Well, we need this stuff. And so let's go over here. Resources, silicone rubber. I think that's quartz, right? Yeah, rubber is made out of quartz, apparently. At least we're making some freaking headway here. Figuring stuff out as I go. So we need a couple more of those mushrooms. Oh, you know what I can do? Zoom! Zoom, zoom, zoom. I wonder how I charge this thing. All right, we got four. Well, let's let's do this. Boom. Uh, why don't we grab some food while we're out here? Because I'm a little hungerfied. Give me your face. There we go. We'll grab this guy. Just something to eat. Something to eat real quick. I love this thing. This thing's awesome. I have no idea how to charge this fucker, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah, that really helps on the uh, moving around. Cook, cook this bastard because we're we're not thirsty, but we're a little hungry. At least I'm figuring some of this stuff out finally. Eat, eat him. And then let's see, resources, electronics, battery, and then a power cell. And then I, I think there was one more thing I was missing for the sea moth. I think it was this. So I need a computer chip. Table, coral samples, and quartz. 
I thought I had some table coral samples. Maybe I used up all the ones I had. I need two of them. Ah, there we go. I did have them. Good. Is there something else I needed? Is it quartz? Let's just grab some quartz. Let's see here. So, electronics. Beater chip. Well, why don't we, before I start doing anything, let's, can I see the recipe for the sea moth in here? Sea moth. Lubricant, power cell, titanium. Oh, it's glass. I need glass. I wonder where I got the advanced wiring kit from. I guess we're going to build a sea moth. Where's my fucking thingy? Should be right up. Ah, there. I was about to say, it should be right above me. I wonder how the sea moth works. I'm assuming I can go super deep with it. Find some cool stuff. Let's climb aboard this motherfucker. Alrighty. Let's use them. Vehicles. Ah, I want the Cyclops. But we're gonna build the sea moth. Oh, and look at them go out. That's kind of cute. It's kind of rts -y. Splash. Let's go get that. Let's get off this. Alright. Now, it's cute. I'll give it that. It's adorable. I'm just going around looking at him. He's got a cute little butt here. Alright, so. Looks like... Ooh, it's fast. Can we go to the surface with it? Wah! Not really. I wonder if it's radiation proof. Let's go over towards the Aurora and see. It's fast as hell. I mean, we can kind of hang out at the surface. I wish I had a, a speed indicator. I mean, I can clearly tell I move. Well, let's, we can go down here. I mean, I, what, at what point... Ooh, can kind of juke to the side. Would we normally hit the radiation from this thing? Uh, this thing's cool. Problem is, I don't know how the hell... Radiation detected. I don't know how the hell to charge these things. It's like, I'd like to go super deep with it. That's what she said. But... Oh, yeah. I hurt my health. Oh, 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 that's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. So... I hurt, no, no, that's the health, okay, because my health is separate from this thing. So I damaged the sea moth with the radiation. So let's, let's just park it. Wait, yeah, I just hit jump, kind of. Is there a, so holding space makes it go straight up. I would assume shift, control, alt. No, nope, nothing makes it go straight down. Well, that's a shame. Because that would, that would make it easy. Alright. How do I get out? Oh, there we go. Eh, I parked it on my front porch. That's pretty cool. Alright, now I think I need a moon pool to work on the thing. Now a moon pool. I think I could find that in here somewhere. There's that guy. Freezes physical objects, warps gravity to pull objects close together. There's the Cyclops. Hatch, bulkhead, reinforcement. Seamoth upgrade console. Build this in a moon pool. Reuse room. Observatory. Small locker, fragment, analyze. I don't see it. Maybe if I... Well, let's... um. Inventory, and then we'll bring terra terraformer fragment. Let's put that in the fragment analyzer real quick. Figure out what the hell that is. Oh, what was I looking for? Builder, builder two. All right, so um, power applying miscellaneous appliances, power habitat, observatory room, L glass, sea moth upgrade. How do I make a moon pool? 
I want my goddamn moon pool. Oh, okay, so it is going. Terraformer fragment. I wonder what that's for. Huh. How do I build a moon pool? Grab sphere, small storage cube, current... I don't know what the hell that is. Beacon, mobile vehicle bay, sea glide. I got that. Personal. Other builder. Thermometer, pipe, rebreather. Ooh, maybe I should have a rebreather. That was just a wiring kit. That should be pretty easy to build, right? It's just some silver ore, which I do have some of. I, got, I went out and resource gathered for a bit. Rebreather. And I'm assuming I can equip that and it'll help me out. Let's see. Re... Breather. Oh, it's already on me. Oh, so what goes here and what goes here? I'm assuming a gun. What goes here? Hmm. Absorb CO2 to recycle used air at greater depths. Alright, well, I like that. Hmm. I'm just a little confused about the moon pool thing. Wonder, uh, and I'm very interested to see what happens when this finishes. Alrighty, folks. Uh, we just analyzed my fragment. Now let's. Uh, well, if we look in, we look in here, it should show me blueprints, right? There's a cat's ass on my microphone as we speak. Uh, terraformer, uh, accessible terrain alterations. Okay. Uh, and I also figured out that to build them, the, I, I looked it up, and I, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not super proud of that. I, I hate doing that, but. I just looked it up, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna figure this out, so, um, if we, we need a, the, the, the moon, oh, it's, it's got its lights on still, interesting, the, what's it called, um, the, the moon pool, I, what, what is, what is over here, what is this, is that just coral sticking out of the top, yeah, the moon pool, I need a fragment for, and apparently, the fragment spawns in the Grand Reef, and the Grand Reef is apparently to the south. I have no idea which direction south is. Um, if, I mean, my natural instinct is to say the Aurora is north, so that south is this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab my little doodle guy here. can't remember what he's called, the uh, propulsion guy. And we're going to head south and see if we can find the Grand Reef. I don't know how I'm going to tell that I'm in the Grand Reef. And you know what? What sucks is I'm almost out of food right now. So I might need to get over here, you fuck. There we go. I might need to do that. And you know, I should grab some. I found I'm always low on quartz, so maybe as well grab some of that on the way. So we're, we're, we're going to head this direction and see if we can figure out where we're supposed to be. It's a fragment. Oh! God damn it. That just fucking came out of nowhere. How long do they follow you for? What's like their aggro range? Alright, this thing I'm loving. This is making things easier for me. So if I was a Grand Reef, where would I be? There we go. Oh, there's a fragment. Sea moth. I don't think I need to keep collecting these. I don't think I need to keep collecting them, but I have no idea. So let's uh, just keep going. Sea moth fragment. I think you only need one fragment. So let's. If it, if it says sea moth, I'm not going to take it. They're everywhere. Fragments are everywhere. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And when we get our when our food gets a little low, we'll head back. It's home. I'm just gonna keep heading this way and see if I can find this so-called Grand Reef. Hello, Mr. Peepa. I wanna make sure when I go back I have some fucking food to eat. There we go. I'm gonna grab this one too. I'll grab a couple of Ah, I got him. Oh, he's going to the surface. Come on, peeper. 
God, God, God. God damn it. Fucking fuck. Oh, well, all right. Well, I got a couple. So let's see what this fragment is. I don't think I'm in the Grand Reef. It doesn't seem very reefy over here. Sea moth. So we're just gonna be. Oh, lots of peepers though. Food. I wish I could just munch on them for like a reduced food intake. That would be preferable. This this doesn't look like a reef to me. That looks like a fucking shark though. Oh, is that a, one of those giant clam shrooms? I don't know what the hell to call it, but the last one I found was drunk off his ass. Can I? I want to steal your soul, come on. Alright, well, he's not going to die, so. I thought I'd... I love how he sounds like a whale. I still got the beacon. Yeah, I still got the beacon to follow, so. I mean, I don't... This doesn't look like a damn reef to me. In fact, this looks like nothing anymore. Oh, wait, it's... I was about to say, what's going on? It's spawning in now. It's like, I'm see. I'm not seeing... Anything. We're on a hunt for a fragment. We know that. This doesn't seem very reefy to me. I don't know how far I'd have to go, though. Thank God I built this thing. Although, at some point, I should turn back. Whoa! Oh, hello! Oh, it's deep! Oh, maybe... Ooh, this looks promising. This looks prom... This is definitely different. What are you? Are you something I can eat? I see that the depth meter is kind of having a hissy fit. Like, it's a yellow now. Does that mean... It, is, it, is that bad? Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're pretty. Can I eat you? I guess not. Well, now that we're down here... Oh, well, we're almost out of oxygen, so let's go back to the surface real quick. Thank God I have this thing. Uh, we'll go up to the surface. I mean, this looks like it could be a Grand Reef. I don't know if it is, but it could be. And we'll hunt for that moon pool fragment, because... I love that I've got the, the sea moth, but it's only, you know, it's only so good if I can't charge it. Yeah, man. How does that rebreather work? I don't actually know. So let's, um... I gotta head back soon, because I'm running low on food. So I'd really like to not have wasted this trip. So we're going to go down, see if we can find a fragment. I mean, they were all over the place before. See if we can find a fragment. Ooh, here's a fragment. And there we go, right there. Come on, moon pool. Terraformer, got it. There's another one. Oh, there's a couple. See, now they're everywhere. Cyclops pressure compressor. <laughs> Don't have that one. Alright, just that's the one I just got. I mean, this looks like... Uh, I would call this a grand... What, what, oh, when, it's, when I'm moving quickly and it's spawning in, like, new, new areas, it seems to chug a little. I'm sure you guys have noticed. But, I mean, it is pretty, and there's a lot of stuff, so it's not completely unheard of. Like that, right there. We just chugged. Went dropped down to, like, two frames. Alright, well... That looks like something I can harvest right there, maybe. But I still don't have what I need. What I could always do is head out and, like, no... I was gonna say, I could head out in, like, a 90-degree angle, and then head back, see if I can cover another area, but... I'm not sure if I'd have the food... I wish I could stay down longer. We're only at 37% energy. So what we're going to do is head down, look for more fragments, and turn back. Wait. 
Starvation is imminent. What if we... Ooh, there's lithium. Ah, apparent. I didn't know that that would be a different material. I didn't know there w that that you know that was a shale instead of a limestone outcropping. Cyclops pressure. This must not be the because I mean there is some cool stuff down here, but it's not what I'm looking for. It's definitely not what I'm looking for. It's, it's something for the cyclops, and I mean I need to come out here to do some resource gathering. I think. Because I, that's where lithium is. But I don't think this is the grand... Terraformer, damn it. I don't think this is the grand reef. That's a shark, though. That's another shark. Keep on going. No, well, we gotta find where home is and turn back. So home is that direction, so let's head off this way. Already? Damn it. Ah, I hate this chugging. Chug's down to two. Two frames. Man, it's deep down here. Alright, let's go to the surface. We gotta head back. Unfortunate that we have to head back, but we gotta. Ooh! Ooh, we're almost out of air. And we're still at 100 meters. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, I can't see. Oh, apparently that's what happens when you run out of air. Oh, come on, really? Oh, please don't tell me. What did I lose? What did I lose? I lost my lithium. I think that's it. Oh, I still got the sea glide. How do I charge this bastard, though? Like, can I plug him in somewhere? I want. I, I don't. I. I honestly don't know. Well, at least I found something else. Let's see. I can open this up and throw in. Oh, did I lose that terraform or that cyclops fragment? I think I did. I lost that cyclops fragment thing. Oh well. Well, at least we know that's not the Grand Reef. And next episode we'll go on another exploring mission. Or maybe I'll do that in the meantime. I want to build that damn moon. Like this thing is cool, but I don't want to. I don't want to go out and use it and lose it. Because it runs out of ender. I want to make sure I have the moon pool and I can charge it back up. Did I lose my food tool, too? Yeah, I, I think I lost everything I had gathered in that last little expedition there. I mean, it was just food, basically, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's definitely not a big deal. At least I know that, you know, I, I have to pay more attention to the resources because a lot of things are... They look exactly the same because they're using the exact same texture and they're using the exact same 3D model, but they're, you know, in game, they're programmed different. So those limestone, limestone outcroppings in certain areas are not the exact same as limestone outcroppings in other areas. That's good to know. So we're going to end this here. I probably got to go out and do a little bit more resource gathering off screen, but at least we built the sea moth. That's pretty cool. So if you've enjoyed this episode, folks, just drop me a like, leave me those comments right down below, and if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays Subnautica, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.